welcome everyone to another chaos africa meeting um I'm excited i'm excited to see everybody here even though nobody's video is on <laughs> but yeah i'm excited to see everybody um i think more people are joining so i just dropped the minutes of the meeting or the meeting minutes on the chat so you can um, look at our agenda and also add your name and the in the spirit of timeless what is your favorite your comfort album that's the question for today uh, my comfort album is laughter tears and goosebumps i don't know who listens to fireboy that's my comfort album So you can add your name and tell us your comfort album. After tears, my comfort album. Um, I'm sorry, trying to. Made a mistake. Asa, bed of stone. I used to listen to Asha. Asha. No, Asa, Asha. I used to listen to her, but I, uh, maybe I'll try to bed of stone. But yeah, Davis can add it to the agenda. Um, I think we can get started already. Have about seven people. Hi, Kudai. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Who's crying your head? So well, I don't think we have any newcomers today. Um, yeah, I think Busayas. She joined last week, so so <laughs> says so nothing new for me. Um, so before we go to the agenda, I have who would like to facilitate the next meeting? I love to facilitate. I can do. I can do. Thank you. Remember, anybody can actually facilitate this meeting. Um, so if you want to, you can always um, sign up to. So we don't have any newcomers. Um, so hi, everybody again. Welcome again. Um, so lately, I think the next agenda item is, and um, a note that this meeting is one hour. So the next the towards the end of the meeting, we are going to leave some time for um chaos Af chaos con Africa. We are planning a conference. So if you want to stick around, um, you know, <laughs> committee, you can you know, stick around 10 minutes um at the end of the meeting. So to be in the committee to plan chaos Africa, chaos con Africa. So yeah, that's um just wanted to put that note out there. And um, so this the first agenda item we have um is can someone drop the meeting minutes on the chat? I see so many people have joined. Um, Damilola, hi, how are you doing? I'm I'm struggling to pronounce this name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good night, um, job. Okay, so, Yeah, I'm doing great. It's been a very busy week, and I'm so excited for the holiday. God, can't imagine. Nice. <laughs> well done. Yeah, for people that are Christians for the uh, Easter holiday. I think I'm seeing somebody new, or not new, Eluzino. I just joined in the meeting for the first time. Um, if you're joining, if you want to say hi, 
if you want to introduce yourself, um, as as a G, I would be, and use the chat as well. I think Victor Umba has joined this meeting before. Name sounds looks familiar. Do you want to say hi, Victor? Hi, oh, guys. Um, nice yeah, to be here again. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. You know, I know you've joined before. Um, Because <laughs> I remember. Okay, welcome back again. So we can go into the next uh, agenda item. So this, I've been thinking about, um, and this is this is from the fact that I don't know if anybody have noticed, uh, we have the majority of people we have in Chaos Africa are new to open source. If you agree with me, raise your hands up or say something. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I think I have noticed that a lot of times that people that come into Chaos Africa are like um, new to open source, you know, and something that I spoke with uh, Matt about is, you know, we Chaos Africa is focused on two things, you know, bringing people to open source and also helping people contribute to the larger chaos project and chaos project itself has a lot of things and why not we focus our attention um that's two things why not we focus our attention on um educating people in africa about open source like doing different things to increase awareness educate people different things how to contribute to open source the different parts of contributing to open source so that's something we talked about. Um, I don't know if this is something that makes sense that we should focus our attention on educating. And if people want to contribute to the larger chaos group, that's fine. Like, you know, like you can't contribute to the larger chaos project. But I think we, because of the, the audience we have, I think we should focus our energy on educating people about, um, you know, generally open source. And if they want to contribute to other communities, they are free to. So this is just like um, a space where we can educate people on open source, everything open source. So I don't know if that's um, something, if everybody's thinking in the same light, if you have um, thoughts, if you have um, questions, that the floor is open for this conversation. So it's something that I thought about because a lot of times people that are joining are new to open source. So I was like, um, why not we focus on educating people about open source? So that's something that I want to throw out. And what what do people think? Yeah, I think if you want to speak, you can just unmute your mic. I think it's actually hey. nice. Uh, it's great if we can uh, find a way to bring more people on board when it comes to open source. As much as uh, you hear of open source everywhere on the internet, I still think a lot of people hear it more than they actually do it. So if there's a way we can bridge that gap, I think uh, it's a really big great accomplishment, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and there, there are a ton of ideas that we can there are a lot of things that we can do to educate people properly as well. They a lot of things and yeah, I do agree. Does anybody have any uh, like what do you think? Um I think we could we could actually try like giving them more like showing them the way on how to go about things. Most people like come into open source with the idea of okay, yes, I want to contribute, but mm -hmm. in the long run, you see them like not doing anything. So I think like showing them the way, literally, because like me when I came into open source at first, I wanted to contribute for I was like, what will I contribute to? And all that I was a bit confused because it's not every niche in tech that it's so easy to get like stuff to contribute on like just like how we have the design community 
and all that. So I think it's more like telling them where they could go to and they could find their way. Just to add to what Faith has said, I think personally that that has to do with individual communities. So um, each community is like supposed to like um, have like a documentation, you know, to what people see on how to contribute to each of their projects and um, what skills are kind of like required. So some projects probably are just written in Python and if you're a JavaScript there, we probably have no place there, right? So um, showing them the way also has to like depend on individual communities. But, but yeah, I agree with Dami. I, I think it's a good thing for us to do. But since it's like still a part of chaos, I think it's also, it also makes sense for us to like create say, like a funnel on, you know, after they already understand open source, how can they now contribute to the general open source um, chaos project? Uh, I mean, they can still contribute to other communities, but maybe our, our end goal should be, you know, them, you know, fully contributing to the general chaos project. Uh, well, I have something to say to that. I think um, if we want to get people on board to open source, uh, just like um, Peter earlier said, uh, some, like for instance, there may be some things we are doing chaos that perhaps doesn't interest people. Uh, we can try to attract people on the, on the more general scale. For instance, I, for me, when I started open source, I think uh, one of the issues I faced was actually even getting to even see some of these uh, open source communities that we join. Like it's so hard for sometimes to even get to know this open source, how you can find them or, I mean, before you can know the right open source community to actually contribute to, you have to have a list of options, right? So we need to help people to actually help them on, as to how they can go about searching for these open source communities and, and for them to just, I mean, people have different tech stacks. They might, you know, like for instance, if you want to contribute to chaos, if you're not a technical writer or a UI designer, then you have to be a Python developer. And there are a lot of people that are not Python developers. So how do they go about that? So I guess, uh, that's something we could uh, pay attention to. I also mm -hmm. think another thing we could do is uh, we can actually collaborate with some other open source communities. So I think that is another thing that is missing within the open source space. I think there is less collaboration between open source communities. And um, you can try that out and see how it goes. Yeah, that's, um, I really do like that point about collaborating with other open source communities. Um, before I go ahead, I only did please stick on one. I only did, I think you have your hands up. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you, I only did, can go ahead. Thank you. So I want to put in the camera. Your voice is quite low though. Like if you could um, I, would, I would like to commend. Yeah, it's better. Now. Okay, I said I want to commend Damrela on what he said. Um, I was actually um going to say something like that, but I didn't know how to place it. So I wanted to say we could host workshops, like um they do on um not not Twitter spaces, like um actual work, workshops, like um design some design schools on Twitter do it, um Texas and one other I think design design EU. So um, they invite um individuals, um designers, um programmers to um, think, show show um to show new new designers how how everything what they do and how like how how they how they achieve a particular feat or how, or how to um, develop a particular skill. So if you could hold those um, workshops to um, probably tell um, the newbies in um, open source because uh, I, I I joined um, I joined chaos in November and, and I can tell you that it's it's not as crazy or um, as complex as I thought it would be. I thought as a designer, when, when people talk about open source, I'll be living day in, day out on GitHub. I thought I'm going to have to vastly get one. I'm going to have to get familiar with GitHub, try to download GitHub. But um, please, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. 
Yeah, I um so far I've I've realized that mostly what we do on GitHub is um listen to and record um comments to, to record um issues. That's what we do on GitHub mainly as as a designer in the product on, on an open source product, you actually design. You, you, you don't you don't necessarily have food. You actually create components. So and, and you learn to work with others. Let's say like I personally I have something solo projects and case study, but working on open source, I've been able to collaborate, I've been able to understand, I've been able to um, communicate effectively. So, so I actually love being a person in an open source um, environment, and I, I think chaos, chaos could actually you know, bring a lot of people here, because the, the project we're currently working on, chaos is a, is a huge project, and we need, we need, we need add. And um, these days, one I would say one or more designers are could are, are, could be busy and for probably two weeks they could not be on the project. Or if there was someone who they were working with, if them either of them could be working on it on different things at different times and the project could move forward. So basically uh, I would I would love to say we could host workshops and if chaos could hold workshops um hosting with some other other open source communities on um, this thing on, on various skills. It, it could even be maybe um, it could just be skills on and and for us, us still having um us still having chaos and educating people on what open source is. I believe we could uh, we could grow the community better that way. It's just one thing I just wanted to point out. Yeah, thank you very much. I yeah, I agree with that point because I think last year, before um Davis and Ifihan goes um take it, last year we did a lot of Twitter spaces, which was really good. We got a lot of like attraction, but I feel this year we should focus on doing workshops because they really help people hone the skills, right? Um, so I'll take uh, I think Davis and Ifihan. Davis can go first then if you can. Okay, so um I think. Before I joined um Chaos, can we hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, so before I joined Chaos, um, I just finished um a data analytics certification on um Coursera with Google, and it was there I realized that I could actually be part of um open source communities even as a data analyst, right? Before then, I just thought you know you had to be um you know the code the code genius who knows how to write with um, several codes and several text, text stacks and stuff like that. So I think we need to be able to, you know, while working on some of the things we work on, create some level of awareness to help people who are non-technical, just like Precious mentioned in the comments, um, to help them understand that they can contribute to open source projects in whatever capacity um, that they've built themselves on all right, whether they are data analysts or researchers or um, technical writers or um, community managers or product managers, whatever the case is, all right, to help people understand that they, they can come in and even use these open source platforms to um, not just engage, all right, to also build their own portfolios as well. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's really great. Thank you, Davis. Um, if you can. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so, yeah, um, just my own. I think everybody has said, or one or two people said, what I also wanted to say, like more awareness, and um, because it was, it's, it's still hard for me to still contribute to chaos. I haven't really contributed to, and I found about chaos. Because, yes, because I was following you, so more awareness, and if possible, you can also team up with other open source communities around Africa or even anywhere, so we can host more events, because I feel if there are a lot of communities coming together, it's going to hold more weight, so that's just what I wanted to add to what someone said. Yeah, thank you, I agree. Um, and about, um, you know, the 
the um, collaborating with other communities. Last year, something we tried to do was um, we collaborated with um, Python Ghana um, to do like a workshop, although there was no much awareness on that end. So the workshop didn't get so much people, but we, at least we, we did it. Um, some people joined, but there was no much awareness then. So I agree that we could collaborate with other communities. Um, hi, Catherine. You can go ahead. Um, hi, Ruth. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, really, so today is the first time I've not missed a notification, so I decided that I had to show up. Um, yeah, so um, thank you for hosting this meeting. Um, so I was just thinking whether it's possible to also collaborate with um, with other with other open source programs within the uh, within the lineup within the Linux uh, Foundation, because chaos is part of it, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so to sort of have like a crossover partnership so that people can also can also uh, work on projects from other programs within the Linux Foundation. That yeah, way that's... it gives people, yeah, that way it gives people like, you know, a broad, um, it's sort of like broad experience across open source. Um, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that that's something that could happen um, because then the chaos project is a Linux foundation project, and Linux has like more than how many projects? We have three hundred projects that are yeah. So, yes, that's can happen. That's the thing that we can do. Um, so I think, um, does anybody have any more feedback? Okay, then the, thank you everybody for all these points. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to like properly arrange all these ideas in a document, like in our strategy document, and I'll share it in the next meeting something that then we can now start, these are just like general ideas, and then we can start building on, on these different ideas and looking out for like collaborations, communities that we can reach out to different things we can do. Um, so this, this can form like the basis for that. Um, moving, to, which is something that is related to this, is I was thinking that we could, at least for the first thing, like these are the basic, basic um, topic that we can start with is um, it getting started in open source webinar session. So this would kind of like highlight, would you talk about open source on the high level, like how people can contribute to open source, right? On the high level and making it like a webinar where people can, so not just for our community, not just for like the internal community, because um, initially I wanted to say, okay, let's just you let's um, do something on one of our meetings, but why not make it open to like like our external audience as well? So making it a webinar session, you know, um, I just did this registration, this Zoom registration thing, just like I think thirty minutes before this meeting, which is not yet ready. Um, so do we think that this is and and then going back to here. This is a placeholder name. I feel we can come up with something more creative. I know it looks very long. So, um, I don't think I know anything. Okay. Um, the, the, so these are the things. What, what name can we come up with? Does this sound good as a, because I maybe want to do it on a monthly cadence. Maybe we want to make it like a series because then the webinars will be recorded. Maybe we want to make it like a series. What would uh, what would be a good name? Because I just put that thing there. Um, what would be a good name? Does this sound like a good first topic? What are other topic ideas that we could come up with? Um, and also we need like on the awareness part because a lot of people talk about awareness here. Uh, we need um visual designs that would eat like we hold all this stuff. So yeah. So what do people think? That's um. For this part, so I'll just open the floor up to everybody.
Is everybody going with my idea? His naming is not not so. Sorry, I was talking. I said uh, okay. we might we might need to rethink the name, but that might take some time. We can just give people time to think about it. Um, because coming up with the name isn't an easy thing. Um, but I think uh, this may be somehow too long. I don't know how we can shorten it in a way. I'm not so creative, so anything I'll just come <laughs> back. That's as I said, we can just uh, allow people to think over it because uh, coming up with a name is not actually an easy thing to do. Someone said, um, I think what you said, remove the money. Best thing we have gotten here for Africa open best thing. How about uh, chaos talks? I don't know if that's too simple or too mysterious. Chaos, chaos talks. It's not really descriptive. Like I want, I want at least yeah. something too simple. Yeah, you should really highlight because it helps with like SEO. SEO. At least yeah. I know some SEO, so it helps with like SEO stuff. Well. So it definitely has to have open source in it, and um, I don't know. At least you have removed monkey here. Like a big monkey. So. Okay. Okay. Um, so what about the, the first, at least the first topic? Sorry, I, could I say something? Yeah, Hello? go ahead. Yeah, we can hear you. you? What if you call it um, open source with chaos? It, it sounds, I don't know, it will sound generic. And I hope you don't think it's Africa is one person. Hey, what? No, open source with chaos Africa. Okay. Round table. <laughs> Round table makes me think of food. <laughs> uh, open source, uh, chaos Africa, uh, open source round table. Makes me think of food, honestly, because like, you know, fat is round tables. But yeah. Uh, okay, so we have we have two ideas. We'll eventually land on one. Chaos Africa open source series, open source with Chaos Africa. We we'll land on one. Okay. Um, for the registration, this this register, like I said, I just I just pinned it up. Um, thirty minutes ago, we still need like a. So the, this is for design. Um, this is for design people. Um, we need like, I don't know if somebody wants to volunteer to um, do like a design. This is the page. You can, people can start registering though. Let me see how it will work. Um, so you can click on the link and register. We are going to use our meeting time to do it like the next week. And the next meeting, this, this meeting happens bi-weekly. So use like the 20th of, um, 20th of April, um, 3 p.m. WT time. Um, so does anybody want to help us out with the design for this, at least for this, for this one? And I think we need some form of branding around this, at least. We need like some form of branding. Is Kinsley on this meeting? Uh, yeah, I'm on the call. Good afternoon, everyone. Good, afternoon. good evening or good morning if you're outside Nigeria. Oh, everybody in Africa is enough this afternoon, so don't worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, but, but what's it maybe maybe I'm in UK, but of course I'm from Nigeria and I still want to contribute. Uh, yeah, if you're looking at in UK, it's still afternoon. They are doing this, they are Yeah, 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 actually. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I, I think I'm just going to take on um, the, like you mentioned, the branding, right? and probably also work on the model since it's kind of like the first time we are doing it. So I'll just create a template around it. And of course, brand the whole idea as um, um, maybe subsequently, you know, I think others can maybe so make adjustments. I think Ayo had his hand up. Um, do you want to do the design for the for the first one? So, um, I would, I would um, love to um, have a little We can collaborate, maybe, right? 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And second, um, sorry. <laughs> Um, UX writing is kind of hard for me most times, but I don't know why the expression is coming today. What about the open source, the open source show? <laughs> so I it's fine. Like <laughs> do you do you, do you know why I, I I think I sort of like the first one? I'm not saying everybody should kind of like do with me is but um since um it's more like um something that will be ongoing, right? So I think um, yeah. a series just is just the best descriptive word when it comes to this conference. But of course, maybe there are other better ways to do that. I don't know, but me, my vote is for the first one. Yeah, I think I'll go with series two because since it's something that's going to be recurring, right? Um, I think we already have a frequency of a monthly. Um, so uh, if we're going to be doing it monthly, yeah, I think we should have you know series so that it gets people thinking. Okay, I I have to come back next month for another um you know for another show and that series and that talk or something. Mm -hmm. Then I think well, we should also have. Um, me, they throw something in the chat. Sorry, sounds sounds too anyways. <laughs> well, I also. I think like we have to uh, look into what format uh, it's going to be. Uh, for instance, a show might make sense. I mean, it's fancy in a way if it's going to be like a video conference or a video workshop thing, honestly. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it helps with marketing in a way. Mm -hmm. See, we have that. There are a lot of things we can do, and this is this is just something we can start up with. There are a lot of I I have like once we have funding like money there are a lot of ideas that we can do so um i'm not going to get all these ideas can keep coming in yeah and if anyone has anything that you think would help the african ecosystem and remember we have to tailor it down to african experience um because that's our audience so if you have ideas of anything that you think would just let me know anytime this is something that we can keep um and if you want to also lead these things because um while i'm managing the community people can do other things so if you also want to like lead these things that's the ideas feel free to always like pop me a dm and um, volunteer to lead them so so we don't spend all our time on this right now because there are like other things so thank you everybody for the suggestions um would i would, I would keep giving feedback when we have like design so that we'll post it on twitter and get more people people can share more people can register and be part of it and you can build the um the the agenda and who do we want to invite to take over this session and all that stuff um so this is like an opportunity that i wanted to share um the linux foundation i don't know has anybody taken oh abisola sorry you have your hand up raised since i forgot um, please go ahead for we'll move to the next agenda item oh, okay thank you very much Ruth. um i'm so sorry i have to bring you a bit back i don't want to cover the linux foundation um you said something about volunteering for something uh I, i'm sorry my right. are you yeah. yeah me are you excited so okay um, okay so let me you want to join, so I'll just put your name here. Okay. Maybe three of you can coordinate better um, after the meeting. So, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. Um, I see uh, Pressure said Toss will be great for your podcast. Mm, that's nice. I think so too. Let me put, let me put the acronym here because that, that is the acronym for me. Okay. Um, so yeah, this opportunity, like, I don't know, has anybody taken any course on the Linux? Um, Linux Foundation has like a training platform. Has anybody taken a course on it before? This is their training. Platform. Sure. Yeah, so um, this, um, some of the courses are free. Some of them are like paid. You can see this one's like 200. They are the ones that are free. So especially for people getting started with tech, the free ones are, and even for open source, if you click on open source here like this, you're going to see like a lot of courses. If like at least there are three ones, you know, 
in open, open source related courses, software engineering basics, open source license. There are like a lot of free courses as well as there are paid courses. Um, there are also courses on like system administration, cloud containers, a lot of them. And these are, I, I have taken courses on this um, Linux Foundation training platform. It offers certification as well. So I, I can say they are like really good courses. So the the um, scholarship is something that um, is helpful to the for the paid courses, um, the ones that are certified too. So you can apply. These are like people that got it last year. Um, so it's currently open. So you can apply um, to get the scholarship. Um, so check it out um, and definitely apply. I would definitely advise people to apply. Um, does anybody have any question about um, this currently before we move to the next thing? Okay. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I see new people here that I haven't met before. Michelle. Um, hi, Michelle. Do you want to introduce yourself and let us know where you're joining from and you know, what you do? Uh, um, hi, everyone. My name hi. is Mitchell. Um, I'm from wait, I'm from Lagos, Nigeria here. I'm a software developer focusing on front end. I have over like two years, one, one and a half years experience in um, JavaScript, TypeScript, Tailwind, Next.js, you know, all of the ecosystem. So I basically like tinkering with front end and I'm a music lover. So I think that's basically about me. Ah, that's nice. Did you put the music that you, your comfort album? Let me see. Let me look for yours. Oh, well, I just joined. I just, I just oh. actually found out that. So I'll, yeah, I'll add that later. Yeah. But what's your comfort album? Do? I have a couple, so I only listen to Christian music, so but I have a couple. I, I do listen to Christian music, so tell me, just tell me the one that's comfortable. Um, starting from like most CCMs, that's contrary, contemporary Christian music. So starting from um, Tordinali to, oh, um, nice. yeah, to um, Pastis albums, that is um, Pastor Manary Ren. The Kerigma, all the way from Kerigma down to Fire My Water kind of albums. So those kind of things, yeah. Great. You can add it to the agenda item. Um, hi Nina. I don't think I've met you before. Do you want to say hi and introduce yourself? Hello. Good day, everyone. My name is Ibimina Hart. I'm a front-end developer. So I just saw that there was a meeting. This is my first time attending the meeting in this open source. So I just said, let me just um, come in and see what you guys are doing. Yeah, welcome, you're welcome. I hope you attend more of the meetings as well. Um, yeah, I'll try. Sure. Um, hi, Gilbert. I don't think I met you before. I've met you by a thousand times. What? Yes, hi guys. Okay, I'm uh, Gilbert. I'm a full stack software developer. Uh, actually, I've been joining the meetings, though I think for this workshop, it's the first time. Okay. Thank you. Great, welcome, um, Gilbert. Um, okay, so the next thing on the agenda item, uh, thank you, Oluchi. I don't know if Oluchi is here. She reached out to me to handle like our social media accounts. That account we've not posted something anything in like weeks. <laughs> so um thank you, Oluchi, for volunteering to handle our social media. Um oh Gilbert has been there working group. That's great. That's really awesome. Hope you have been enjoying it so far, Gilbert. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Yeah. So thank you, Olchi. And then I just don't want us to, because we have ten minutes to plan Girls Africa Con. 
So the next meet, the next agenda item is the research survey. We actually need people that would write for this. Um, I think David volunteered to do something. So I don't know if there are other people that want to volunteer to start writing the report because we have a structure already. So for context, um, we we sent out a survey. We sent out a survey um, that was last year to um, people, to our external audience and even internally to get challenges that people face in Africa when they contribute to open source. So we are in the phase of writing out the survey. Um, this is like a tentative structure that we have. So we need like volunteers for people that want to um, write the survey based on like the responses we got. So if you want to, please, you can put your name here um, and um, coordinate later, maybe next week to start writing the survey. I know Davis had put in, um, said he, um, he was going to help out with it too. Um, so if you want to, you can put your name here. Right. Content, let me see content right back. Um, Kins, did you have any updates for us here? On the design? Oh, the budget website. Uh, no, I, I don't have any updates at the moment. I saw the design. Okay, no updates. Um, really if working. Know, the, yeah, so, so still a work in progress. And just a whole lot has been happening this morning. No worries. Sure, take your time. Um, and if you want to help out to, um, on the event budget website, you can reach out to Kinsley. Um, yeah, then... I think um, Abisola will be um, correct. I think I got the message from someone. Okay, I think. And then, yes, of course. Um, and Rachel... There was someone that just mentioned that uh, maybe she's a UX designer. That was Abisola, right? Okay. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, I got... Hi, Kinsley. Has Sophia reached out? No, no, not at all. Oh, Mary Blessing, you asked the question. Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, I got a follow up on her. <laughs> yeah, you know, she, she hasn't. Maybe we just stop more slack. Okay, sure. Yeah. In response to your question, Ms. Mitchell, the survey is, it was, it was more of asking people about like their um, challenges when like Africans, when they try to contribute to open source. So that was like what this survey was about. Let me try to go to the spreadsheet here. I just hope the emails are not showing. Okay, yeah, so this was the questions. Uh, what projects have you been contributing to? How have you been contributing to open source? Uh, what challenges have you faced? Sorry, what... just me. I can't see my screen. You can't see my screen. That's weird. Um, can any other? Can I can't... can see the Google Doc, but not. Um, I could uh, maybe have like a secondary screen or something, because I can see the Google Docs here. Oh, it's a sheet I'm showing now. Let me stop sharing and share again. Okay, Catherine, thank you so much for joining. We'll see you later. Um, okay, is it showing now? Can you see it now? Um, I think it's loading now, but it's just blank for now. Oh. Yes. I can see your screen clearly. Okay. Yeah, I can. This shape. Okay, so maybe um. Yeah, maybe um, so yeah, to Mitchell, these were like the survey um, questions and then we got a lot of responses and we're in the process of like writing the survey. We've gotten like 
We've done the analysis, the quantitative analysis part. So we are process of writing the survey and the reports rather. Um, so let me go back. I think we have. So if you want to volunteer to write, um, you can put your name here. So I know a lot of a couple of people that introduced themselves talked about being front end developers um, or doing um, web stuff. So we have a um a current an ongoing project um badging websites. So there are open issues here. I know Enoch was supposed to be in this meeting to give some updates because he was working on a lot of things on the website, but I don't think Enoch is here. You can see he has been making commits, created bare bones. <laughs> Such a weird commit message. But yeah, um, he has been making commits to the website lately and I think restructuring some things. So you can check out the open issues if you're interested. I know some people said they were front-end developers. So this is a good way for you to contribute. And we still need to nod some people that have been assigned to issues to finish it up. So um, if anybody wants to be our captain or nudge people to, because there are some issues here that are, you know, people took them up and, they haven't um oh person said they, they're they are still working on it so there are some of them that people took them up but they haven't done anything so we need to nudge them if they are still contributing to it so if you want to help us do that here feel free um to nudge people to um do it um Kinsty, you want to say something yeah so um i think um um, this is also an aspect of like what you just mentioned now is just an aspect of I think maybe we also introduced in the workshop, you know, so where when you finally start contributing to open source, how to go about contribution and staying on the project. Because um, that, of course, has been one major bottleneck, right, in design and sort of altered a lot of things, actually. So. Uh, it's not really easy to just jump on a project that someone else was handling and probably has gone like 80 percent of the project and the person. So, so I, I don't know if it's just something someone is going to take on, right? So um, maybe in the design and also in the development team or any other start right, involved in a particular project. So it's just an idea, but I feel like we should also, you know, make this part of the workshop. I think it just came up, so I feel. Yeah, I, I do agree. And it's, uh, and there's something I, I always feel like which it's pretty normal because in Israeli open source is like, people sometimes set out time that they want to contribute. Some people want to be drive by contributors. Some people don't want to like necessarily stay in the community. So it's pretty normal sometimes when people think, I have a, an example, Damigola, that issue that I told you that, please come and take it away from my hands for at work deal was like, I signed up for something and I couldn't do it at the end of the day. It kept on going for weeks. And then I just had to, you know, because Damilola um, is an active contributor in work deal, I was like, I have this issue that I thought I was going to be able to do, but I don't have the bandwidth anymore. Could you help me? take it on and yeah so sometimes it's it's normal um and people have like or that like they are they are full-time jobs people have their lives outside of open source so sometimes they can forget sometimes there's no time to do what they said they wanted to do so that's also like pretty normal yeah but but you notice what you just did there was kind of like um maybe you actually called for someone to help right yeah. So I think exactly. this is also, yeah. So this culture of if you want to, we understand, of course. So you have your job and everything, but if there has to be a transition or if there was any formal transition, okay, I'm not going to be around for maybe a couple of weeks or months, or maybe this is a far, this is the much I can do on this project. Can someone else maybe take on from here? So I think that would be cool than. <laughs> Someone replied your message to Spark, and you know it's just like 
can't even get together with the person I know. Yeah, that's that's true. That's like I think on that sometimes I we do talk about it when I speak about best practices to contribute to open source. So yeah, would would definitely add that in you know the workshops or the sessions we'll do in the future. So thank you, Kinsley. Um, so the last thing before we move to the ChaosCon Africa planning, um, I'm really excited that a lot of people, like we had up to three people attend this meeting. I don't know what I, what I did correctly this time, but um, there's a way you can, you know, not forget about this meeting, like keep remind, like um, you can add the meetings to your calendar. Um, so your Google calendar will remind you and you, um, in case any day I forget not to do our channel. So you can go to chaos, um, chaos.community. These are like the chaos main websites. If you go to events, oh, no, not events, sorry. I don't know. Where the hell is Columbia? So if you go to community and go to calendar, um, and then if you see here, you see that there's Chaos Africa meeting. You can copy to your calendar, click copy to your calendar. And um, oh, yeah. the network is so bad. Oh yeah, if you click copy to your calendar, please, if you do, if you don't, if you save it like this, it will only put for that meeting. So click on um, this, do not repeat, click on custom and do it to happen every two weeks. And then when you click done and then you save it. So you it would always be in your calendar and just keeps reminding you of the meeting. So yeah, so that's all we have for today. I want to move over to the Chaos Africa, uh, Chaos Con Africa planning. So if you want to stick around and be part of the community, feel free to stay on the call. But if not, we'll see you in the next meeting, which is our webinar. So I'm just going to stop share and stop the recording.